used to be a mine and now it's just a bunch of rubble but it's still cool it was the leech collieries in crowsness pass and so it's a pretty cool spot to stop along highway 3 where you get to see like like well, you'll see lots of stuff but there's the coke ovens from when it was a mine there's all the old mine buildings and lots of cool trees So this path we're on is leading us to Star Creek Falls. So filled with beautiful flowers and stuff. And all kinds of plant life, beautiful trees, pretty amazing. All right, I'll cross the, the bridge I go. Oh boy, looks steep ahead. Well, at least that bridge's not rickety. Oh, it looks steep ahead though, crazy.
So there are falls behind me over here. And um, you really have to go up pretty high. There's like a chain on a rock over there. So we've all decided that we don't want to die. So we stop here. We're going to go back. But man, is there some beautiful scenery in this area. Um, this is part of the Crow's Nest Pass here in Alberta, Canada. And um, part of everything we've been seeing this weekend. I mean, this is a mining area. A lot of mountainous region, a lot of wildlife. It's been quite the trip. life throws us circumstances we aren't quite prepared for, like when Toria unexpectedly lost her mom, Monica. We have no choice but to accept that and deal with it. We don't know what the future will bring. We mentally prepare ourselves as best we can for what we think and dream will happen, while having a pocket full of hope that it will work out, as we envision it in our head. Marriage is like that, not knowing what the future holds, but having a vision of it. Toria has chosen to accept a life with Mike, a life of goodness and truth, as well as adventure and commitment. Mike has chosen to have Toria in his life so he may share all of his love and admiration, closeness, and honesty. Together, they have chosen to build their lives with their zoo of animals, Yogi, Olive, Parker, Pretty Girl, Bree, Mandy, and Douglas. <laughs> There's not a problem there at all. Before these witnesses, I will ask if there is any legal reason why either of you cannot marry. Please repeat after me. There is no legal reason why I, Victoria Marie Primrose, cannot marry Mike. There's no legal reason why I, Victoria Marie Primrose, cannot marry There is no legal reason why I, Michael Joseph Mahoney, cannot marry Victoria. There is no legal reason why I, Michael Joseph Mahoney, cannot marry Victoria. You fell in love by chance, but you're here today by choice. You are choosing each other. You have chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who you share crazy adventures and conversations with, who makes you think, probably drives you crazy, definitely makes you laugh and smile, and makes each day brighter. You're about to make promises to each other that you intend to keep. You're going to vow to take care of each other, no matter what, to stand beside one another, at any kind of concert, 
but a country one. And to find happiness with one another here, there, or anywhere. <laughs> There's something simple behind each of these promises you are saying. Every experience I am going to have from here on out, I want you to be a part of it. And now Mike and Toria have written vows that they would like to make to each other in front of you all today. Toria, I'm so excited that this day is finally here. You know me better than anyone else in the world, and somehow you still manage to love me. You're my best friend and one true love. There's still a part of me today that cannot believe that I'm the one that gets to marry you. There are so many reasons why I'm here today. Your smile that lights up the room in the winter, your amazing laugh, your beautiful eyes, the unfailing support you give me, your sense of humor, the way you love all the animals in our zoo, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> it all makes me love you more and more every single day. I often think back to the day that we met, and I remember feeling a very strong connection with you. And over the next month or so, as we got to know each other, I find myself wanting to know more and more about you. You quickly became not just a friend, but my best friend. I recall the first time that I came to see you and the debacle we had with customs, but even that showed me that we're meant to be. It was that day that I knew you were the one for me. That day, excuse me, was the start of the natural teamwork that is still going strong to this day. That teamwork has carried us so far. I often tell you that teamwork makes the dream work, and it's so true. Together, we can conquer anything the world throws at us. No matter what it is, you always accept me without any conditions. I love how you actively engage in things I enjoy that you don't necessarily love, like baseball games and rock concerts. But you enjoy them with me because you love me. Those who truly know me know that I can obsess about things I enjoy. I don't know how you do it, but somehow you manage to put up with my crazy obsessions without making me feel even a little bit crazy. I'm so grateful for our special brand of weird. To me, it means more than just being silly. It signifies a special, profound, unfettered love for each other. It's loving each other at our most intimate, vulnerable times. It colors our tapestry with yet unnamed exotic colors known only to the two of us. <clears throat> <laughs> You've made me the happiest man in the world today by agreeing to share your life with me. That's why I have a few promises to make to you. And no, and you know that I always keep my promises. So here goes. I promise to unclog the shower drain, even though you're the only one with long hair. I promise to cherish and respect you. I promise to care for you and protect you. I promise to comfort you and encourage you. I promise to always love you unconditionally. I promise to be with you for all eternity. So you told me not to turn this into a te TED talk, so I'm gonna close with this. <laughs> I love you, Victoria Marie Primos, more than you can possibly imagine, and I always will. No matter where we are, or what we do, that won't ever change. <laughs> Since our very first phone call, I've known that you and Carson are in the same life. From the first time we met in person, thank you for the cards. I was knew we could solve any problem together. Really, we were thinking how I could do it. You know, all of my stories, you finish all of my sentences, and to me, we are two halves of the same ending. This was fun. For the last 3,333 days today from our first phone call, wow. one of You've made me smile every day. You've made me laugh every single day, and I cannot wait to spend the next million or so days with you back anyway. I promise to laugh at your cheesy jokes, or at least smirk in all my eyes. I promise to do my very best not to drive you crazy every day with all of them. And I promise to love you always. <laughs> Right.
rings represent the promises you have made here today. When you look at them over the years, remember the vows you just made and protect the vows just as you would protect the rings themselves. Please repeat after me, Mike. With this ring, with this ring, I take you as my wife. I take you as my wife. And I vow to cherish and love you forever. I vow to cherish and love you forever. Together, we'll create a bond that lasts a lifetime, filled with love and commitment. Together, we'll that was create a bond. a bond that lasts a lifetime. Together, we'll create a bond that lasts a lifetime. Filled with love and commitment. Filled with love and commitment. Toria, with this ring, with the ring, I take you as my husband, because you are my love, my special person. Because you are my love, my special person. And I will find you in every lifetime, just as I found you in this one. And I will find you in every lifetime, just as I found you in this one. Look into each other's eyes and think about the happiness that you are feeling at this very moment. Let that feeling register in your heart and soul. Take that feeling forward while you enjoy your favorite bands on Fremont Street. <laughs> and during the rest of your days together. Days that are filled with hope and peace, wonder and silliness. Now that you have committed to each other by exchanging vows and rings in front of your friends and family, who is now happy to pronounce you husband and wife, you may now kiss. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs>